Fresno Foxes are preparing for their last few home games of their first professional season here in Fresno. Yeah, that's right. We went to a couple games. It's a fun time there. Christina Tatro joins us live from Chansey Park this morning. Hey there. Hey, good morning, you guys. We are live in their locker room right now, and I'm actually with their general manager, Frank Yallop, and we're talking, we want to know everything about their first season here and the big push you guys have for the end of the season, the last few home games. So tell us how the first season's gone so far. It's gone great. I've really, I've really enjoyed myself uh, here, but um, just as a team, I think we've sort of ingrained ourselves in the community um, and the city, and I think the fans that come to the game really enjoy what we're doing. And I think that um, you know the experience that they come, they have when they watch the team, and, and obviously be around the players is great. And then, what are you guys hoping for the last three home games, and what big push do you guys have? Well, basically, we're kind of pretty close to being out of the playoffs. Um, we give it a good shot this season. We just kind of fell short in the last two games where we tried, had to get a couple of wins to stay in the race, um, but we kind of fell short of that. But it's not mathematically over but probably is uh, once, we, once this weekend's played. But the last three home games, we want to do the same thing we've done all the, all the way through the season is entertain the fans. We, we play very well at home. We usually score a lot of goals. Last home game, no, but usually we score goals and, and have entertaining games. So we want to do the same thing the last three home games and then obviously build up for next season. What has the Fresno community been like for you guys as a soccer team and as a football club? They've been fantastic. They've really took us, took us to heart. You know, I've just moved here like 18 months ago. Um, from San Jose area, and I've really, really enjoyed myself. I've, I think that the, the um, Fresno itself has been very welcoming and, and warming to, to myself. But having said that, the team, you know, all the guys that I've spoke to, they love being here. They really enjoy being here for the, for the 10 months that they are in the city. And, um, yeah, it's been really good and very great experience for us. And those last three games, we're going to come out with a W on each one, right? Absolutely. I've got to say that. And, yes, we will. We will. We'll win on this weekend. We've got another home away game next one. But I, I feel that we're going to get three wins in a row. Great. Frank, thank you so much. You. Stay with us here because we're also going to be going on the field in just a little bit here. We may have some surprise guests and uh, maybe put Frank's feet to work a little bit. I think Sounds like a, a lot of fun. Your feet to work. Yeah. What are you talking about him? Yeah, we need yes. to teach her how to score a goal. That would be fun. Yes. I'm down to All see right. that. Thank I'll you work so on it. Thank Practice. you, Christina. We have like 20 minutes in between hits. All right. Welcome back. Fresno Foxes are preparing for their last few home games of their first professional season here in Fresno, and it has been a good one. Yeah. Our Christina Tatro joins us live from Chickasaw Park. Good morning. Good morning. Again, we are live actually here on the Fresno Foxes field. And now we have some very exciting people out here. We have got Beto Navarro, Navarro and we are actually doing this entire segment with a studio audience. Check out our little fan base. We've got drums to wake everyone up this morning. So, Beto, you're a defender, and you're going to be teaching us some moves this morning. What are you going to be teaching us? I got us? one move. I have a, a move that it's, I guess it's my go-to when I'm in a little bit of trouble on the field, and I see I'm dribbling a certain direction, and there's not much to play out of, and I, I just go into a quick turn, and it's actually called the Cruyff turn. Cruyff was a very famous uh, Dutch player who, um, who's been known for that move, so uh, maybe I can demonstrate it, and then maybe you can learn from it a little bit. We can change it up, maybe call it the, the Tina turn. How's that? The Tina turn turn. We're going to learn the Tina turn this morning. All right, Beto, can you please show us the Cruyff or the yeah, Tina turn? Yeah. So obviously if I'm in trouble, if I'm playing outside back, I'll dribble, I'll dribble forward. I don't see much going on, so I'll just go into a quick turn oh. and change directions. Oh, How's that? You think oh. oh, you want to show me one more time? Yeah. 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 So let's go, let's go. I'll dribble, dribble, dribble. I'll turn. Oh. Yeah. oh, and then you, oh, and then you shoot the goal. All right, all right, all right. Perfect, perfect. Okay. Dribble this way? Yeah, dribble that dribble, way. Because then I got to score. Okay, 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 okay. All right, we, okay. So we're going to dribble, dribble, dribble. Dribble. dribble, I'm in trouble. No. Yes. <laughs> Man, do you need a new forward? Yeah, we do actually. We do. We we okay. need we need some goals these next few games that we've got coming up. So maybe you can suit up for us. How's that? Don't worry. The Tina turn will be there. The Tina turn Don't will worry. Be in full effect. I just have a quick question for you. I want to know how's the first season here in Fresno been? It's been great. It's been great. Obviously, the support from the people here. I think Fresno 
was was in need of something like this for for some time now, and and it's been great, honestly. The people that have embraced it, they've come out and supported us in our first season. So we're just hoping that we can finish off strong these next few games for them. Great, thank you so much. Now I'm pretty excited. We're going to continue to work on a few. How did that feel? Though? How did that feel? You kind of got a rush of what yeah. what players feel on the field. And they say, huh? Let me tell you, I'm ready for my debut. <laughs> yeah. That is a rush. It's going through my veins. I'm just feeling it this morning. Now you're feeling it. That's awesome. Yeah, so that's great. We're glad, we're glad to bring you on board soon. So. Perfect. Thank you so much. I'm going to get outfitted next. Thank you guys so much. Make sure to uh, stay with us because we're going to be looking at the fan base next. Yay! Christina, you did a great job. She had a microphone in her yeah, hand. Yeah, I'm, I'm surprised. Multitasking. Yes. I'm very impressed. Yesterday in the you know, newsroom, you told, me, <laughs> you told me you played before, but I didn't know Thank you actually played. Oh, okay. So she does have some experience. Yeah. Yeah. It's not her first time with the soccer. Yeah, you know, that uh, high school JV team for a year. <laughs> Didn't do me too well. Paid off. <laughs> All right. Maybe paid off for the segment. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Got you somewhere. Thank you guys. The Fresno Foxes are preparing for their last few home games of their first professional season here in Fresno. That's right. We went to a couple of the games. It's a fun time. Christina Tatro joins us live from Chuck Chancy Park. So is that your number? <laughs> yes. I am actually trying out for the team. As you can tell, I'm already repping Channel 24. Uh, player strong here has got to watch out because I'm actually with the GM. So we've got Frank Yallop, and uh, so in this tryout, what do I need to do to really impress you? Well, it's signing season, so yeah. you, it's a good good start. But um, I need to see good footwork, okay. good movement. Okay. okay. Yeah, on your toes all the, all time. the time. Yes, all the time. Okay. Mm -hmm. Head up. Okay. But know where the ball is at all times. Okay. Not many things, right? Right there. Right there. Right there. Yeah, but you, you can know where it is, though. Okay, okay, perfect. <laughs> so really quickly, tell us how's the season so far been here in Fresno, and what are you guys looking forward to in the next three games? Well, it's been great. You know, we've had a really good turnout in the, um, for the home fans here, and we've we've enjoyed every game we've played here. We've got three games left at home. We want to just finish the season out with a with a bang. Hopefully we can get three wins in a row, which is uh, will be ideal. Um, we still have a slight chance at the playoffs, so we've got to keep going. Here he is, Fuego the Fox. He's right here. He's turned up. Now, what are we What are we going to be learning today? Well, Beto Navarro, one of our players, is going to show you a move, and then you're going to do it, okay. and then we'll see how you do, and okay. then we'll decide if we're going to sign you or not. Yeah. Oh, this you is ready? terrifying. Here okay. We go. Here we go, yes, Christina. Right. Okay, okay, quick. Okay. Here we go. So this is a move for an offensive player, obviously, maybe a forward. Okay. He's dribbling at a defender. Maybe Fuego the Fox, you can defend here. Come on in a little closer here. Good. So you're going to dribble, dribble, okay. dribble. You're going to get him going one way with the step over. Oh! Just finish it on the goal. Okay, so okay. Here we go. Quick little trial. Quick, okay, okay. Ready, here we go. Okay, will you follow? Okay, Yeah, of course. So, so dribble. So you're dribbling at, you're dribbling at the again? defender. It's a step over. Step over. Okay, ready? S step over. Here we go. Step over with the left foot. Step over. Go the other oh. way. Is she score? Right. Go! <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Denver. Yeah. Oh, man. Let's see, let's see defender. Hey, new signing. Good job. <laughs> sorry, Sam. I sorry, have to Sam. say. You lost your number 24. <laughs> Sam Strong, I'm so sorry. I'm so I have to sorry. I'm impressed. I'm impressed. You're getting into it this morning. You're really good. <laughs> it looks like a beautiful morning Thank you, morning you guys. I'm really excited. I'm sorry to be leaving our, sorry to be, be leaving you guys at 24, but I got my new position here. <laughs> <laughs> it was a quick week for you, I guess. No, I, uh, I like the, the jersey, too. I need yeah. one of my own. Very cool. Yes, everyone, we got to get them for sure. Now make sure to go ahead and stay with us because we still have some surprises for you guys this morning. We've got some drums, we've got a fox. I don't know what's going to happen. <laughs> you never know. All you right. Know. Thank you, Christina. Welcome back. Fresno Foxes are preparing for their last few home games of their first professional season here in Fresno. KC24's Christina Tatro joins us live from <laughs> Chick Chansey Park. Good morning. Big fox behind you. Good morning. We just want to make sure that everyone's camera ready and looks pretty good. You know, we've been playing out in the field this morning, so want to look spick and span in our nice jerseys. Uh, but I wanted to tell you guys, it is the last three home games for the Fresno Foxes. This is their first professional year here in the city of Fresno. So we are here with general manager, manager again, Frank. Frank, I want to know, this, this season obviously has been very great for you guys as your first full year. So what are you guys looking forward to the last three home games, and what do you guys want to see from fans? Well, we want to continue what we've done. We've had wonderful games here, uh, very exciting uh, action, and um, we want to continue that with the last three games. Um, again, the playoffs are kind of... In the distance, we're still not out of it, but um, looks like we're probably not going to make it. So these last three games, just to entertain the fans, have a good time, get three wins if we can, and then obviously build up and get ready for next season. But um, 
you know, we want the fans to come out for these three games to, to, to see the team, support the team, and the city. Now, fans are such a huge part of the experience, and we have got some other gentlemen here with the Fresno Foxes, and we want to talk about the fan experience. What is probably one of the best parts about the fan experience here at Chuktansi Park? Probably the best thing for fans is the atmosphere, the electricity. Uh, we saw it earlier in the show with Ricky Bravo from La Manada coming in with his drums. They started Tiago Sequoia, they march on in, they take over Olivino and H Street, and this place becomes a party, and when we score a goal, the sky gets filled with blue smoke, and that's what we want to see. So if you want to be a part of that, we're starting our season ticket renewals. Um, if you have any questions, visit FresnoFC.com or give us a call at 559-320-2525. Um, but with that, fans will be able to start purchasing their season tickets and lock in that membership to make sure that they can come in and see 17 great games here at Chuktansi Park. And the next home game is going to be this Saturday starting at 7 p.m. But there's also a very, very important and very special game coming up right before that. Will you tell us a little bit about that? Yeah, so that night's actually our hometown heroes night where we basically focus on our local heroes, our first responders and all that. Um, before our game at 430, we have fire versus police. They have, they have an annual game that they do. So they're actually playing for a cup. So you guys are all invited to come to that game as well. Um, so we're looking forward to that. Halftime, they're actually going to do a shootout as well for another trophy. So we have a lot going on that day. So it'll be very exciting. I'm excited. <laughs> <laughs> Sounded like you were going to say something. I was like, oh, so no, are you second. also going to be doing a part of the shootout, Frank? Uh, no. Well, I can do if you want me to. Sure, that might be, that might be fun to see. <laughs> I'm Perfect. Not the, I'm not kicked the ball for a while, but uh, yeah, I'll do it. Yeah, why not? Wow. Put you to the yeah, test. Yeah. But, you know, we have one of our ultimate fans here. We have got our Fresno FC Fox. So I just want to know, how has the season been this year for you? It's been fantastic. Thanks very much. Now, 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 what is your favorite, favorite dance move? What is it called? The groove. <laughs> yeah. See, as you can Beautiful. tell, Fresno FC fans have a lot to look forward to. Absolutely. And you guys, don't forget, I, you know, I might be highlighting soon. I've got my own jersey. They put my fake last name on it. Obviously very strong. Going to do a great job out on the field. So I hope everyone comes to see me play this Saturday. <laughs> I, I would I would go watch you oh, play. Oh, we'll be watching. I honestly would. <laughs> I've been impressed this morning. Thank You've done you a guys. fantastic job, Christina. You did, yeah, you did great. Uh, we, Thank we you so much, Miss Jessica. I want... No. <laughs> we need What's to see that? some of that, uh, some more of those tricks, though. I need to see them on social media or something. <laughs> All right, thanks, Christina. It sounds like a fantastic yeah. thing to be doing this weekend. Going to be warm for it. So, uh, yeah. Good day to be outside.